2 Corinthians chapter 5. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the Apostle Paul addresses themes of assurance, judgment, and reconciliation. He explores the contrast between the temporary nature of our earthly existence and the eternal reality of our heavenly dwelling. Paul emphasizes the confidence that believers have through faith, their responsibility to please God, and the profound impact of Christ's love and sacrifice. He also highlights the ministry of reconciliation that has been entrusted to believers, urging them to be ambassadors for Christ, and to be reconciled to God. Exegesis by Sections and Verses Verses 1-5 to We have assurance of the resurrection. Paul begins by comparing the perishable, earthly body, which he referred to as a tent, with the imperishable, heavenly body, which is a building from God. Believers eagerly anticipate being clothed with their heavenly body. Paul expresses the desire for transformation and the transition from mortality to eternal life. He notes that God has prepared believers for this transformation and has given them the Holy Spirit as a guarantee of their future inheritance. Verses 6-8 Confidence and being present with the Lord Paul asserts that believers can be confident, even though they are absent from the Lord, while they are in their earthly body. He highlights the distinction between walking by faith and walking by sight. Paul expresses a preference for being absent from the body and being present with the Lord, emphasizing the hope of eternal life and fellowship with Christ. Verses 9 to 11. The Judgment Seat of Christ. Paul underscores the goal of pleasing God. He acknowledges the inevitability of all of us appearing before the judgment seat of Christ, where everyone will be held accountable for their actions. Paul emphasizes the seriousness of this judgment, urging believers to persuade others about their accountability before Jesus. Verses 12 to 19. Be reconciled to God. Paul addresses the Corinthians' concerns about his motives. He explains that his aim is not self-promotion. He compares his motives with those who boast outwardly. Paul expresses his dedication to God's purposes, even if he appears to not be of a sound mind. He emphasizes the love of Christ that compels believers to live for Jesus rather than to live for themselves. Paul introduces the concept of the new creation in Christ, where old things have passed away, and all things have become new. He underscores the ministry of reconciliation, through which God reconciles believers to himself, through Jesus Christ, removing the burden of their sins. Verses 20-21 We are ambassadors for Christ. Paul proclaims that believers are ambassadors for Christ entrusted with the message of reconciliation. Paul reminds believers of Christ's sacrifice of himself, or he became sin, on their behalf, which made them righteous before God. Overall Summary In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Paul addresses the profound themes of assurance, judgment, reconciliation, and transformation. He contrasts the temporary nature of earthly existence with the eternal reality of the heavenly dwelling that awaits believers. Paul emphasizes the confidence that believers have through faith and their accountability when they will appear before the judgment seat of Christ. He urges believers to be reconciled to God and embrace their role as ambassadors for Christ, carrying the message of reconciliation to the world. Through these teachings, Paul encourages a profound understanding of the transformational power of Christ's love and sacrifice, inspiring believers to live for Jesus and to fulfill their ministry of reconciliation.